going on everybody? It's your boy Malik at Malik's Water Garden. I'm here standing in front of my discus tank. I uh, have a pair of um, turquoise discus um, and I also have seven uh, L56 Hypancestrus uh, Playcos. They are actually not a Hypancestrus, they're a different type. I will try to find the actual scientific name. I have it written down. I'll put it down in the uh, bottom here. Um, and there's also a pair or two little um, calico super red bristle nose growing out in here. Uh, but the main focus of this video is these guys right here are um, discus. I've had these guys for almost three years now. Um, well, no, not as long. I've almost two years now, and they're about three years old in 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 total. And uh, they're a breeding pair. They're a mated pair. They do spawn quite frequently in this tank. The placos do eat their eggs, so I have not gotten any spawns out of them in the last little while. But I am gonna set them up in their own tank so that I can start getting some spawns. Um, currently, the temperature in here is it's my trusty temperature gun i don't know if you can see it i'll put some b-roll in there um it is 76.9 right there and then in celsius it is 24 25 degrees so that's the temperature i keep these guys at um, I will put some b-roll footage throughout this part so you can see um, them acting naturally. I did set up the camera behind me beforehand and did make a bit of b-roll um, so you can see it. But uh, aside from that, there's nothing really else that I do in this tank except a weekly or bi-weekly water change depending on my schedule. Clean and nice in here. Uh, they are actually right due for a water change. You can see the water line up here. I don't know if you can see that on this uh, footage, but it's a little lower. Um, so, yeah, they're doing really well. You can see them uh, acting naturally, and uh, they're kind of skittish right now because I'm sitting right beside their tank. They're not used to that. They used to usually see me at about two or three feet away from this tank when I'm looking into it. I don't try to get this close to it just to not uh, scare them. So, uh, but uh, yeah, aside from that, this is just an update. I've had uh, a previous few videos where I was showing people how I keep my discus at a lower temperature. Um, and I keep all my discus at uh, about this temperature. And uh, everybody seems to be doing well. Nobody seems to have ever had an issue. I've had these guys for over two years now, or just about. So uh, they're doing really well. They're, you know, I've had quite few successful spawns out of them in the past and uh, I've also had them for a long time now and uh, I've been keeping them at this temperature usually at this time of the year I usually move them to the middle of the, the room where it's a little bit warmer where the temperature is uh, about 78 to 80 degrees but uh, this year I decided to keep them out here just to see how they would do and they haven't had any issue they haven't been acting any differently they haven't stopped eating they haven't stopped spawning they haven't stop doing anything their bodies are doing fine their metabolism is you know fine and uh so i'm gonna keep them keep them in here in this temperature and see how they do over the winter and uh this is as cold as it gets in in this part of the room and um so yeah that's uh pretty much it so that's the update i have for you guys as always i thank you for your support um I don't know if you can notice the difference, but uh, this is going to be a better edited video. I'm filming this on 4K, 60 frames per second, even the B-roll. And uh, I am going to most likely edit it using Luma Fusion. Um, so this is uh, the new setup that I have for video production. Uh, it's an iPad Pro and a few gadgets that I picked up off the internet to complement the iPad Pro, um, like a lens kit and a uh, a tripod stand and uh, a couple of gizmos um, I did turn off my air pump to film this video and I did turn off most of the lights in the room so that there is less glare uh, I want to see how that turns out I am getting a, uh, a reflection light so that um, there is going to be more light 
directed towards my face when I'm doing this so you can see me more clearly. Um, but aside from that, uh, most of the other stuff I need for this setup is here. And so uh, I'm excited to give you guys better quality videos. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Please like the video if you like this type of content. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't and please hit the notification icon uh, so you can up get updated when new content gets uploaded. As always, I love you all. I thank you for your support. I will see you guys in another day. God bless.